Break 13. Yeah, I'm ready. One, two, oh, and two, three. Welcome back to my rockabilly guitar bedroom and today it's Cliff Gallop's time again and this one we will start with the leaks. Yes, leaks. In fact, there is a bunch of leaks that Cliff Gallop plays through the whole song, kind of gluing different pieces of his part together and once you learn those leaks you actually learn almost 50% of the Cliff Gallop's part. All of those leaks are based around this a major chord and when he moves to D around the D9 chord and in fact I was thinking about creating a whole video dedicated not to any particular Cliff Gallops part but rather to some basic chord and scale theory behind his playing only I don't know I cannot say when I will be able to do that so if you are interested please consider subscribing and click that bell icon below the video so that you receive notifications about my new uploads. And now the leaks. The first leak goes like this. It can be in fact decomposed into two smaller ones. The first one Observe also the trick with my left hand's fingers. It gets a little bit challenging when you have to move quickly between 5th string on the 7th fret and 4th string on, on the 7th fret. So here is what I do. I play 4th string 7th fret with my ring finger. Then 5th string with the pinky and quickly moving the position back to the 4th string 7th fret again ring finger. Ring, pinky, and again ring. And then the next lick goes like this. Just simply all of the notes of A, or better to say A6 chord. So all together once again. And there is one variation of the same that goes like this. And these leaks are actually often preceded by the next one that goes typically in the end of the refrain or the end of the verse when the harmony moves from E7 to D and back to E. So here is what Cliff Gallop typically plays. Here we have this slide, slide up and down. This happens on D9 chord and back on A. So it's a very typical end of the refrain. And there is again one small variation of this leak that goes like this. And by the way, the same fingering trick between fourth and fifth strings. Pinky, B7, 
Ринки Ринк. So that was two leaks and the third one is actually the intro, the beginning of the song. So let's have a closer look at what happens here. Since you are watching this video, you're a rockabilly guitar player, so this thing in the beginning most likely doesn't require much explanations. What happens next is When you listen to the song for the first time, you might think these notes here are played using the bands, but that's not the case. What Cliff Gallop actually does here is first he pushes the Bigsby and plays this note on the 8th fret, then releases the Bigsby and makes the pull off. And then this thing. I'm pretty sure Cliff Gallop played it using some kind of hybrid picking, but my picking pattern is this one. Down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, down stroke, up stroke, down stroke, down stroke, up stroke, down stroke. the last time I have to admit I cheat and play it using a slide. So again the intro and the actual verse. That's probably what Cliff Gallup wanted to play, but he didn't have time to hit that low A on the open 5th string, so what he played was actually this. Rest. So that's the first lick of the first verse. Kind of a long one. Let's just play it once again. Rest. The same trick here with the fingers, pinky, pinky, ring. And then the next lick. Here, slide up and down. The same trick with the Bigsby, so again this next lick from the very beginning. And surprisingly Cliff Gallop ends on E, while you would expect this line to end on A. So the whole verse before the refrain. Rest. Rest. And this is just to fill a gap. And then the song comes to D and Cleve Gallop bases his part around D knife. The same fingering trick in the end of this lick. Pinky, pinky, ring. And these are two leaks that we have already learned in the very beginning. 
followed by the other familiar one. And the final lick of the refrain sounds like this. So let's repeat the whole refrain. one that goes like this. And the second verse starts. Again. Pinky. Rim. So this is one of the favorite Cliff Gallop slicks that he plays in many other songs as well. And this is a very familiar part. And then the song gets to D chord and again Cliff Gallop plays around D9. And here is what he does. Again. Pinky, pinky, ring. And the end of the verse goes like this. are already familiar leaks, so let's just play the verse once again. solo. same as in the intro and then so here we have the same concept of sliding up and down but now we are doing this with a whole double stop and then again And finally, E chord. This time, Cliff Gallop doesn't use the Bigsby, but instead he bends the string. Once. 
One more band. Pinky ring. By the way, when making this last band, I'm bending the string upwards, not downwards, and there is a reason, but I won't tell you right now. We will see why we have to do this in the second solo. So now let's play the first solo start to end. with the rest. Let me play it from the end of the solo. Rest. That's the first click. One, two, three, four, rest. Pinky ring. And then A6-9 chord. You will find it a little bit challenging to fret this chord in the real tempo, but fear not. In fact, if you fret it kind of improperly, it's a part of the game here. It will sound a little bit better. So let's just play the verse from the beginning, or actually from the end of the solo. Rest. Slide up and down. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Everything is pretty familiar so far, and then. So this last lick is a little bit different. It prepares us for the next solo. Sliding up and down, and then doing the same with the whole double stop. So that was the first lick. Again. Bixby. What 
goes after this lick sounds like this. And it gets pretty challenging, so I don't use alternate picking here. Instead, I play both these notes with upstrokes and then a quick move with the Bigsby. And then the next lick. Which continues like this. This time Cliff Gallop forgets about the Bigs band plays it with the band. What's this? Two pretty strange notes and here I'm using the same fingering trick but I'm taking it a little bit farther. Let me show you. Ring, pinky, middle, index. And then the familiar lick, the lick that we have learned already in the first solo. And now you know why you have to bend this third string upwards. Because this time we can hear on the recording also a touch of the open second string, creating some kind of dissonance here. So again... and as usual we will start it from the end of the previous solo and the verse the most part of this is pretty familiar so once again Bigsby, Pinky, Pinky, Ring. Hey! Once again. refrain based as usual around D9 chord and it goes like this rest well it's a very interesting melodic line if it was not played by mistake I would actually say that Cliff Gallup was the pioneer of jazz rock and fusion because the same kind of melody you can hear, if you listen to guys like, I don't know, John Scofield or Pat Metheny. Rest! Here it's pretty. 
Spotify les familles. Learn and then. A six nine chord. So once again the refrain. Do the bop. And that was Crazy Legs by Gene Vincent. Thank you for watching and hope to see you next time soon. Bye!